Yopremian boots it downfield and we're underway. Pryor catches it back at the one. Back down at the 27. Logan Pryor received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Bandits will start the drive at their own 27-yard line. Simpson chews up nine yards, and that brings up Simpson. second down. The pick up of nine on the play. Banker with the tackle. Great. Second and one. Ball at the 36 yard line. Simpson gets the call again and has left. Great screen. Locked down hard at the 48. Yeah, baby. I'm on fire. First down. Just a single receiver on the field. up about two and that brings up second down four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package Simpson has his number called on second down and heads wide left. One man to beat. Finally dropped at the 31. O.J. Simpson razzle dazzles the entire stadium with this move. Watch this. Just guy walks right over them. The defender never knew what hit him. Or, or what didn't hit him. He thought for sure they'd knock helmets. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 42 yards on four carries. It's good for a gain of 10 on the play. Greg Landry throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, one yard to go. Simpson picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. Holding, number 68, offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot at the foul. Repeat, second down. Philip Anderson clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. All right. Third and eleven. Ball at the thirty-two yard Landry just rifled this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. 
Alvin Richardson didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. The Vipers will take a timeout to try and ice the kicker. Fourth down, 11 yards to go. Rosa boots it from 49 yards out, and they take the lead. Lou Groza really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Rosa sends it downfield. Washington fields the kickoff at the one. Left down at the 22. Willie Washington is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Vipers will begin the drive at their own 22-yard line. Chaney catches it in the flat and is at the 25. Tackled at the 31. Jerome Chaney made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. He did a good job getting his hands around the football and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Second down from the eye. From your Vipers, 31 yards. Chaney takes it off the toss and will lose about a yard here. Joey Browner read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. is such a dangerous player in that defensive backfield. He's not afraid to launch himself like a missile into ball carriers. It's a scary sight for an offensive player to see. Let me tell you. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Bandits with a small lead, three to nothing. Leonard Marshall was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Intercepted. Rolls out at the 45. 
Y'all see Kareem that pick? Barty picks Textbook, off the baby. pass because Textbook. he plays the zone so well here. Completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The right. Bandits are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 45-yard line. O.J. Simpson stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Simpson will get the hand up and the field. Brought down at the 44. It will be first down. We gotta start putting up a better. First and ten. Down. Set. OJ Simpson had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Gotta take what you can get, Dan. But they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, and heads wide right. Howard takes him down back at the 44. Jeff Howard read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Zips it to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the marker. Jerry Rice goes mano y mano, and the ball's waiting for him there on the cut. Great communication by quarterback and receiver together. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Forces the incompletion. Greg Landry tried to bullet it to his man, but he just doesn't have the kind of power in his arm he needs. Second and ten. Simpson takes it for his eighth carry and maybe picks up one on the play. O.J. Simpson played smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Greg Landry lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 63 yards and one touchdown. point and it's good Kicks it away. Ooh. 
Willie Washington took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. Green goes in motion. Traction down for the loss at the 21. Eric Turner led that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Dwight Clark shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game first and contribute. Elway rifles it out left side and it's caught at the 48th. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. Uh, you having a little trouble? I'm looking for you next play. First down, two wideouts on the field. The clock continues to run. 75 down. Six. You got a long way to go now, man. Bro, bro. Come back. 56. Listen up. Go 26. Listen up. Go 70. Listen up. Gray. 34. Elway throws this on a run. It's complete at the 43. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Third down with the tight end right. The Vipers will take a timeout after the second. Is this a great drive or what? Elway passes a high, long one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Joey Browner came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Quicker next time. The Premian with the 43 yard attempt and has its sail just left of the upright. Garo Yepremian misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Bandits take the field with the clock at 19. Simpson is at the 45. Finally popped out of bounds at 
the 40. OJ Simpson dusts the defense with this here. Oh, perfect spin move. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 66 yards on nine carries. Landry throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 97, defense, 5-yard penalty, repeat, first down. Tay Fiore had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so he got the call for a neutral zone infraction. for the first half of this one. The Bandits enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The Bandits are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. After driving 41 yards on seven plays, Rosa would be summoned for the long field goal try, and his kick would be right through a 49-yard field goal. The Bandits get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Vipers, later in the second, Barty was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Midway through the second, the Bandits ahead by three. Landry went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. They're now up by 10. The Vipers, still middle of the second. Elway would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Vipers trailing 10 to nothing. Simpson on the carry here as they work the ground game, and this is a nice run. They were getting the yards, but they weren't watching the clock, and time ran out on them. And that will do it. The Vipers are down at the half, 10 to nothing. All right, good work, partner. The Vipers get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 10 to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Rosa hoots the second half kickoff away. Washington fields the second half kickoff at the three. Dodges a tackle. Stop at the 22. Willie Washington tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Vipers had their last drive stalled at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 22-yard line. Elway throws a heater right side line. It's caught at the 31. Finally gets out of bounds at the... White Park works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Moore was 
all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. Wow, you don't see that very often. His first drop of the game. Well, Dan, usually he's Mr. Dependable out there, and you have to wonder if he heard some footsteps. Second down Second with two tight ends to the right. Gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. Jerron Cheney used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. the first on third and long. First and ten. From the Bandits. Down. 37 Six. Bad, bad. Check. Bad, bad. Go, 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 Cheney will get the carry on first down and ends up losing about three. Down. 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 Gold. 21. Check. Gold. Moore goes in motion. Parks had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Elway tosses it deep down the left side, and it's not from the receiver, incomplete. Herman Moore tried to cover up the fact that he was going long the whole time, but it didn't end up mattering. Missed opportunity to hit a big one there. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Boston lines up for the punt. Boston takes the snap and punts it away. The Bandits out of bounds at the 14. Todd Boston did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Bandits offense takes the field and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 15-yard line. Landry throws a bullet to the flat and the catch is made at the 11. Tackle at the 16. O.J. Simpson stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Bandits, 16 yards. Down. Six. They're going air. They're going air. I see pass. The ball's loose. He's got Anderson makes the hit way back in the backfield at the nine. O.J. Simpson loses the ball temporarily on this play. He's able to get it back himself, but they lose some ground on that play. The fumble was temporary, but the damage was permanent. We got a long... Third and 16 from the Bandits. Throws a bullet to the flat and However, it's short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. 
Drew Blake made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They stopped him cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Oh yeah, this one's mine! This one's mine! Raw gets the snap and punts it away. Banker fields the punt at the 40. The 38. Brad Banker didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Vipers' offense has stalled late in their drives the past few times down. We'll see if they can finally score as they start this drive at the 38-yard line. Elway zings it to the right side and it's tied at the 34. Finally gets out of bounds at the 27. Jay Novacek had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Second down with three receivers to the left. Down! When you come back, all you're going to see is me. Tread! Single back! Single back! Three! Down here! Hyena! Black! 76! Hyena! Goes in motion. Chaney gets the ball again. The 27. Jerron Cheney didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. third and long and that'll do it for the third quarter the bandits enjoying the lead 10 to nothing Dan watch for the quarterback tight end connection right here this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. Here's the point after, and it's good. Yopremian kicks it away. Pryor catches it back at the three. Great three. Stopped at the 30. Irving Pryor received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Bandits, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Simpson loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Alvin Richardson got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Gets the call again and gets up the field. Finally dropped at the 
46. That will bring... Dan, this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him get a little momentum going, and then he's smart enough to make the right running choices downfield. Oh, he's so dangerous when he busts loose like that. A highlight real play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they remove the chain. Great execution. up a yard on the play and that will bring up second down. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's swarm this guy. Law lines up for the punt. And selected the punt. Anchor is DTC. it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Tony Law saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Vipers take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Second down, the clock Second is stopped at two minutes. Down. Set. Go, go, go. Clark goes in motion. Listen up. Goal. 74. Listen up. <laughs> Elway just right with this one, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues. Mike Clark faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. They've really been working. First down, three wideouts in the game. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Herman Moore had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's now two drops by a guy considered to be one of the best in the game. Well, Dan, I don't care how talented you are. After you drop that first one, it can really get into your head. Down, one man back. Check. Down. Check. Get used to it. Check. It's coming again. Goal. 54. Check. Hyena. Hyena. Black. 89. Parks goes in motion. Run and for 
misses the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Mike Milburn came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its trap. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Elway unloads this one off to the left, and it's caught short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on down. First down, Vipers. Terry McDaniel is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down, and it's worth another look. A oh, huge tackle, huge play. That was some aggressive play calling that deep in their own territory, and it may have cost them dearly. I just don't see how they were in four down mode there, especially at their end of the football field. That's a bad call. The Bandits will start this drive near midfield at 56. Simpson carries it for the 15th time and heads wide right. Touchdown! O.J. Simpson sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. That touchdown will stretch the lead, Peter. And it looks like they will walk away the winner here. Well, it looks that way, Dan, but it's not over until it reads double zero up there. <laughs> now the point after, and it's yes, good. Man, it's good. Rosa sends it downfield. Lily <laughs> Washington got out close to the 20 on that one, so the decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Vipers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 41. Elway lets it go deep down the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. Mike Milburn came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Clark makes the catch on the right sideline and gets the first. Mike Clark was smart on this play, running out of bounds to stop the clock. First down, the clock is stopped at 27. Elway tips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Herman Moore had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. This is getting ugly. That is his fourth whiff of the game. They may want to rotate someone else in there, giving this receiver time to regain his confidence. Second down, 10 yards to go. Novacek catches it over the middle, and the Vikings take their first time out. across the field and finds his man. That, my friends, is a strong arm. Peter, they are within striking distance, but time is running down. Yeah, the clock may decide this game. We'll see. Now the extra point, and it's good. 
Yopremian bounces it up there. The kicking team gets to it, but before it went 10 yards, that's an illegal kick. The Vipers tried an onside kick on that one, but the ball didn't go far enough. The ball's not live until it travels 10 yards, and that was not a live ball. Yopremian pooches it. Milburn collects it at the 35. Tackled at the 34. Mike Milburn didn't waste any time grabbing that onside kick. He didn't want to give the kicking team any chance at it. Peter, they had to try the onside's kick there, so you can't fault them for their decision calling on the matter. Absolutely not, Dan. Just didn't work out for them. They've already won it, Dan. If they sit on the ball, the clock will tick away and end it. That last time out for the team has to be. takes a knee and the clock will tick down and that is going to do it for this one the bandits come out on top 17 to 14 with that let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one that was an exciting game so let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post game show Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Clark ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. Towards the end of the third quarter, this time at the 28-yard line, Elway went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. A 27-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Now early in the fourth quarter, the Bandits winning by three. Simpson would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. The Vipers, middle of the fourth, Elway connected with his van on this one. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on the big play and they turned the ball over on down. The Vipers down 10 to seven. Simpson would come up with a big play here as he gets the carry and has clear sailing ahead. A 46-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Bandits now up by 10. The Vipers creeping up on the end of the game. Novacek came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 53-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Bandits edge out a win, 17 to 14. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. O.J. Simpson elevated his game like he always does. What a performance. And I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on.